Do you know how to identify common symptoms of diseases in reptiles? This topic is of paramount importance for anyone sharing their lives with these fascinating creatures. Early detection of illness can be the key to saving a reptile's life and preventing unnecessary suffering. It's all about understanding and recognizing the signs and then taking immediate action. And remember, it's not about playing vet, it's about knowing when to call one. Recognizing these signs early can make all the difference, so are you ready to learn more? Firstly, a sudden or prolonged loss of appetite can be a red flag. It's not unusual for a reptile's eating habits to fluctuate. However, if your scaly friend seems to have lost interest in food entirely or has a significantly reduced appetite, it may be a sign of underlying illness. Just as we humans might lose our appetite when we're not feeling well, reptiles can also display this symptom. It's tricky though because some reptiles have seasonal changes in their appetite. For example, during certain times of the year a reptile might eat less due to changes in temperature or light. Therefore it's critical to understand your pet's normal behavior. Are they normally a voracious eater or do they tend to be a bit pickier? Has the change in appetite coincided with a change in season or is it out of the blue? These are all important questions to consider. So keeping a close eye on your reptile's eating habits is crucial. Secondly, any changes in behavior should spark concern. Your reptile's behavior is a clear window into their overall health and any deviation from their normal patterns can be a sign of illness. It could be something as subtle as increased aggression or as apparent as lethargy. Perhaps your pet has become unusually active or, on the contrary, unusually still. These changes in behavior can signal a variety of health problems. For instance, increased aggression could be a sign of discomfort or pain, while unusual activity levels might indicate a metabolic or nutritional issue. Lethargy, on the other hand, could suggest an underlying infection or disease. It's crucial to know what's usual for your pet to be able to spot these changes. You see, every creature has its own unique behavior, and what's normal for one may not be for another. Remember, you know your pet best. Any behavioral changes should prompt a vet visit. Thirdly, physical changes can be a clear sign of illness. Now let's delve into the physical changes that might indicate your reptile isn't feeling at its best. One of the most obvious signs to watch for is weight loss. A healthy reptile should maintain a steady weight. If you notice your reptile has become noticeably thinner or lighter, it could be a sign of poor nutrition, parasites or a more serious underlying health condition. Changes in color can also be a telltale sign. Reptiles are known for their vibrant and varying colors. However, a sudden change in color or pattern may be cause for concern. This could be due to stress, illness or even improper lighting in their habitat. Swelling is another physical change to keep an eye out for. This could be anywhere on the body, such as the legs, tail, or around the eyes. Swelling could indicate an injury, infection, or even a tumor. Visible parasites are a clear sign of trouble. These could be tiny mites on your reptile's skin or larger parasites like ticks. Parasites can cause a variety of health issues from skin irritation to serious diseases so they should be addressed immediately. To check for these signs it's important to handle your reptile gently and regularly. You'll want to observe their skin, scales and overall body condition closely. However, remember to always wash your hands before and after handling your reptile to prevent the spread of disease. Also, consider keeping a record of your observations. This can help you spot any gradual changes that may be harder to notice day to day. It can also be a useful resource to share with your vet if your reptile does become sick. Let's not forget, though, that these signs are not definitive proof of illness. They are simply indicators that something may be wrong. If you notice any of these changes, it's crucial to consult with a specialist veterinarian as soon as possible. Physical changes can be quite telling, so regular checkups are key. With vigilance and care, you can help ensure your reptile friend stays healthy and happy for many years to come. Fourthly, changes in feces can be a sign of digestive issues. Now I know discussing poop might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's an essential part of understanding your reptile's health. 
Variations in color, consistency or frequency can indicate a problem. For instance, feces that are consistently too soft or too hard might suggest a dietary issue or dehydration. Unusual colors such as bright green or white could hint at an infection or other health concerns. It's not just about the feces themselves. The frequency of bowel movements can also provide important clues. If your reptile is passing waste more or less often than usual, it may be a sign of digestive problems. The key is to know what's normal for your reptile and to observe any changes. Remember, a healthy digestive system is vital for your reptile's overall well-being. Keep an eye on what's coming out, as it can tell you a lot about what's going on inside. Lastly, breathing difficulties should never be ignored. In the world of reptiles, respiratory issues can manifest in various ways. Keep an eye out for signs such as wheezing, gasping or frequent mouth breathing. These may seem like minor nuisances at first, but they can rapidly escalate into severe health complications if left unaddressed. Wheezing is often a sign of respiratory distress in reptiles. It's akin to a human's asthmatic attack, indicating that the airways are obstructed or inflamed. Gasping, on the other hand, is a desperate attempt to get more oxygen, a clear sign that your reptile is struggling to breathe. Frequent mouth breathing is another red flag. Reptiles are primarily nose breathers, and mouth breathing could mean that the nose is blocked or the animal is trying to increase its oxygen intake due to a respiratory problem. The seriousness of these symptoms cannot be overstated. They warrant immediate veterinary attention. If your reptile is struggling to breathe, don't hesitate to seek help. So you've learned how to spot potential signs of illness. Now what? Well, the answer is pretty straightforward. It's time to consult a specialist reptile veterinarian. You see, just as humans require doctors, reptiles too require professional health care. And this care is best provided by a specialist who understands the unique needs and health challenges of these fascinating creatures. A specialist reptile veterinarian has the knowledge and expertise to diagnose and treat a wide range of reptile diseases. From bacterial infections to metabolic bone disease, these experts can provide the necessary care to help your reptile recover. But it's not just about treating illness. Regular veterinary checkups are also crucial. They allow the vet to catch any potential health issues early on before they become serious. This preventative care can save your reptile from a lot of discomfort and can even prolong their life. And let's not forget about the importance of a proper diet and habitat. A specialist reptile vet can provide guidance on these aspects too, ensuring your reptile has the right environment and nutrition to thrive. Reptiles, unlike dogs and cats, are stoic creatures. They don't show signs of illness until they are really unwell. This is why it's so important to be proactive. Regular vet visits combined with your observation of any changes in behavior, appetite, physical appearance, or feces can make all the difference. In conclusion, if you notice any signs of illness in your reptile, don't wait. Consult a specialist reptile veterinarian immediately. It's not just about treating the symptoms, it's about providing the best possible care for your reptile, ensuring their health and happiness for years to come. And remember, there, there's no such thing as a silly question when it comes to the health of your reptile. Vets are there to help and guide you, so don't hesitate to reach out and ask for advice. Remember, when it comes to your reptile's health, always consult a professional. In conclusion, knowing the signs of illness in your reptile is vital. Just as we humans demonstrate when we're not feeling our best, our reptilian companions have their own unique ways of showing when they're under the weather. It's our responsibility as caregivers to recognize these signs and act accordingly. Remember, a loss of appetite can be one of the first indicators that something is amiss. If your reptile seems less interested in its food or stops eating altogether, it may be time for a checkup. Behavioral changes are another red flag. If your usually active reptile becomes lethargic, or if a typically docile creature becomes aggressive, it's worth paying attention. Physical changes can provide important clues as well. Abnormalities in skin color, texture, or the presence of unusual growths should never be ignored. Also, keep an eye on the feces. Changes in color, consistency, or frequency can be a sign of internal issues. Breathing difficulties, such as labored breathing or a persistently open mouth, demand immediate attention. In all these instances, a specialist veterinarian should be your first port of call. 
They are equipped with the knowledge and tools to diagnose and treat your reptile effectively. Remember, early detection is often key to successful treatment. So stay observant, stay educated, and help your reptile live a long, healthy life.